to it. Like the oh, oh, beautiful right hand. Power shot from the Tory. Nice post by Izzy. Allows Vittori to work his takedown game. Guard. Very good time. When emotions flare up long before, keeping sentiments under control is hard in combat sports. Alessania and Vittori were not ordinary opponents, all set for a typical fight. Their bad blood goes back years to their first fight. Vittori felt stung by Adesanya's split decision victory and was vocal about his hatred. The verbal jabs between the two took a nasty turn in a press conference. The heated arguments turned the match into a battle before it even started. Your father oh, that showed up, because you, you, you don't run your own Whoever career. showed up, I run, run your career. I am the narrative in your run career. So I run your fucking fucking shit. shit. You tried to bitch. ignore me, bitch. Thus, the fight between Adesanya and Vittori, anticipated as a crazy drama, finally proved to be so. This video will relive some memories of the famous Adesanya versus Vittori Vendetta. We will share everything from pre-match drama to their history, match day, and unexpected events. Stay tuned as the drama unfolds. Before we start with the actual drama, let's give you some background on this vendetta. But what causes this long-standing rift between two excellent fighters? This wasn't the first time Adesanya and Vittori were facing each other. The bad blood originated when Adesanya and Vittori fought in Glendale three years ago. King's MMA under Rafael Cordero in California. Good. Throwing that yeah, kick no, because he's throwing it so low. Good right hand. Beautiful counter lands for Adesanya. Starting to find his ring. A split decision win left neither fighter satisfied. Vittori was adamant that he won, while Adesanya thought it was too close and not a proper finish. For the winner by split decision, Israel, the last time Vittori demanded retribution while Adesanya needed to finish the unfinished job again. But was he justified in claiming himself the winner? Let us know in the comments section. Adesanya has come a long way since his last encounter with Vittori. Known as the last style bender, he has an impressive MMA record. Winning all but five of his MMA wins by knockout shows his class. He remained undefeated, and his only loss was against John Blachowicz while he tried to add a second title belt. The match result of his last fight with Vittori was not satisfying for Adesanya himself. He wanted to finish the job this time, but was Vittori an easy target? Certainly not. Vittori may have yet to fight big names like Adesanya, but he started earning money as a professional kickboxer long before Adesanya even signed with the UFC. He's picked up a significant nine of his 17 professional victories by way of submission, including notable wins over Carl Robertson and Italian veteran Giorgio Pietrini. Vittori was booming with confidence, as he has not tasted defeat since his decision loss to Adesanya in 2018. A fight with Adesanya was personal. It was anger, retribution, and a way to reclaim what was already his. Being an emotional, personal Italian star, Vittori has been shoving and yelling for a while, desperate for revenge. He has made no secret of his disdain for his rival, Adesanya. But would this aggression, hatred, and emotion translate into a match performance? He was already spending too much energy on verbal jabs, not just a retribution. This fight was also important for too many causes. Vittori, who has never competed in a fight even fractionally as significant as this one, said this was a huge opportunity. That made him slightly overeager. He was over-aggressive and almost disrespectful. Whether he uses this aggression and energy to devastate Adesanya, or ends up shattering himself depends on how he channels his energy in the octagon. The match got the hype even before it took place. The heated arguments between the two fighters turned the news conference into an arena. Adesanya and Vittori repeatedely exchanged expletives and trash talk. Now, I know you'd piss hot right now because you're already easy, popped. Easy. I have nothing to hide. I you have everything to hide. The boisterous crowd in attendance was very pro Adesanya and booed Vittori as soon as he picked up the microphone. It's amusing to me. He's telling himself a story. Let him know what you think. Of a bullshit. Because his whole character is bullshit. And he's just, he believed it in his own bullshit. That's what it is, it's fake to the point. At the end of this drama, where Adesanya tells Vittori, I run your career, Vittori claims to be his nightmare. 
never showed up for people. You don't run your, you don't run your own career. Showed up I run your like career. I, I am the narrative you in your run career. So I run much your fucking shit. You tried to ignore me, bitch. You tried to ignore me. Here I am. I never, I never ever that. Bitch, look at me. Your fucking nightmare. Find me now. The pre-match sentiments played the role of turning this fight into a much-awaited event. With emotions burning this high, who finally won when these two middleweight talents met for the second time in the UFC 263 main event. Both fighters were already on fire before the match began. Adesanya is in control right from round one with his feints and low kicks. Vittori's desperation was quite evident from his body language. He was looking for ways to dominate the last style bender. Tori showed a lot of confidence and came forward with strikes, seemingly trying to beat Adesanya at his own game. But Adesanya displayed excellent distance and footwork. Though calm and composed, he was skillful enough to evade his punches and counter each strike, finding time to execute his own strikes perfectly. Adesanya quickly reminded his opponent who the better stand-up fighter is. He evaded his opponent's advances, chopping away Vittori's legs with low kicks. Allows Vittori to work his takedown game. Very good timing there for Marvin Vittori. The ground game became intense as Izzy wasn't going to give in that easily, while Vittori was desperate to hold him on the ground. The way Izzy used his legs to control Vittori and turn the game on him was commendable. At the end of the first few rounds, Adesanya showed his class by feints and switching stances, boxing combinations to unnerve Vittori. But Vittori was all confident, looking into his eyes and countering his every move. But would Vittori's desperate moves be rewarded in the following rounds? Vittori utilized a different strategy in the later rounds. His striking attempts proved to be ineffective, so he changed his strategy and tried his grappling strategy. But Asanya was again quick enough to read his plan and successfully defend it. He was furious as well. He started mixing strikes, pouches, blows, feints, and his combinations with body shots and landed clean blows to Vittori's head. Though Vittori tried his luck again for a takedown, Look how controlled Adesanya looked. Vittori had some success on the ground, but Adesanya wriggled free and was effective with his feet and the same turntable on him by being on top and punching like never before. Wearing out the Italian's front leg while dodging most of his big punches, things got even more heated when Israel Adesanya landed a clean elbow strike that Marvin Vittori claimed was an eye poke. Adesanya was still in action, composed yet in command, while Vittori's desperation was evident. Still, with a submission specialist like Vittori, anything could have happened. It looked like Vittori was desperate to do some damage to Izzy till the last round. Adesanya remained in control with his punches, feints, and well-placed kicks. The Italians failed to inflict any significant damage through his attempted strikes. His takedown attempts were almost futile, just like his strikes, but failed to drag him down. Though Vittori was desperate to inflict some damage, by the end of the fight, Adesanya remained in high spirits. He was almost mocking Vittori's futile attempts to take him down. After five interesting rounds, Adesanya stood tall and in high spirits, whereas Vittori looked like a symbol of despair and desperation. It was a unanimous decision in Israel's favor this time. All three judges saw enough from Adesanya to award him the victory. As Adesanya was hoping it was a unanimous decision, Adesanya not only won over Vittori, but also taught him a lesson. It was his third title defense since winning the unified belt against Robert Whittaker at UFC 243 in October 2019. With two wins over Vittori, Adesanya closed his mouth with his skills and strikes. Insolence and cocky behavior never goes unpaid. Do you think Vittori was justified in his seek of retribution? Leave a comment below. Did you have enough of this match? Do you want more destruction of arrogant fighters? Watch how another cocky fighter G-Duo was paid off by Rod Tong for his haughty behavior. See you there.